Hello, I'm Stephanie and today we're gonna make cauliflower wings. Um, it's currently like nearly 9 p.m. on a Sunday and I saw on someone's Instagram story that they were eating cauliflower wings and I was like, that looks really good and I happened to have all the ingredients for it. Um, so I was like, why not make cauliflower wings? So I don't particularly like cooking and I wouldn't say I'm particularly good at it either. Um, so this could either turn out really well or go really poorly. Um, so we're gonna find out together. Super excited for it and uh, let's do this thing. So I found a, um, a recipe, Just I just Googled cauliflower wings found a recipe on love and lemons don't know if that's good or not so i'm gonna get all the i'll link the recipe that i use down below um so i'm gonna get everything out and we're gonna make these let's do it so here I am just getting everything out and ready to go. I have these cute little measuring cups that my, my dad actually made for me and they're super cute, I love them. Um, I'm just following the recipe, putting in some flour. How cute are these little flour containers? I have a sugar one and a honey one that actually matches it. I got them from Target because love love me some Target. Um, next, I'm putting in some cornstarch. I think cornstarch is like supposed to keep it all stuck together or something. I don't know the science behind it. I'm just following the recipe. Next, we're doing the spices, getting spicy. I think they're, I showed them after I put them in. So there's garlic powder. And then I do the onion powder, and then there's like paprika, salt, pepper, just, just your normal spices. After I put all that, I just mix it up. The recipe tells you to use a whisk, but I decided to use a fork. And then you'll see, once I add the water in there, I regret not using the whisk, which I would probably be getting it. I told you so for my father, because he's a very much, has a whisk for like every different instance you could possibly need a whisk for so um here i am trying to mix it with a fork and it's not working and then i decide to just get my whisk out now here i am cutting up my cauliflower and um don't come for me i feel like i don't know how to properly cut a head of cauliflower like I started with just cutting around the, the little leaves off to try to get an idea and then I tried pulling it apart but then I couldn't so then I started just like cutting at it from the bottom and like pulling pieces off that way um, I'm sure there's a much easier way to go about it but I struggled with it for a while and then I eventually got it all cut into pieces Now that I have it all, all my cauliflower cut up, um, I'm just putting some parchment paper down on my sheet pan so that it's easier to clean up and it hopefully doesn't stick as much, but you'll see later on that it, it totally does. It just totally sticks to the paper. Now, this is where I feel like it starts going downhill. Like, I had a good thing going for me until this moment. 
so i started just putting in like a few pieces at a time and like trying to cover them and coat them and then i like take them out one at a time put them on the paper and that's working okay um but then i th i just i get a little impatient um and and you'll see that i just i go for it i just dump the whole thing into the bowl of of batter and i don't really know what i was thinking with this um i thought maybe it would be easier to like stir it in or something but um it most definitely was not so please enjoy me struggling um, as i try to coat all these pieces of cauliflower Now time to put these bad boys in the oven, stick them in there, um, cook for like 10 minutes, and then it's time to flip them, which is, this is the moment I realize they totally stuck to the parchment. And so I'm like struggling to flip these. Um, and I don't even think I flipped them all. And so some of them probably were cooked too much on one side, not enough on the other. Some of them were just so covered in batter, they couldn't really be flipped or done anything with. So this is just continuing to go, go downhill. But here we are taking them out of the oven and now it's time to put a sauce on. The recipe called for like a buffalo sauce, but I personally do not like buffalo sauce. So I put barbecue on because I figure like you put barbecue on wings too. So that's what I put. I think the sauce is just from like Trader Joe's or something. Um, little smoky, little tangy. I personally really like it. Um, so yeah, smear those on. I also didn't have a brush, so I used a spoon. Um, and I think that was another thing that wasn't very helpful, didn't aid me in being able to cook better. Uh, so I smeared that all on and then they went back, back into the oven for a little bit. All right, let's try this. Um, I don't know if they were cooked long enough. I don't, I don't really know what I'm doing here, so. Like, does it need more sauce? It just tastes like cauliflower. I don't understand what the point of that breading stuff was. So, I'm gonna be honest. Um... I think I suck at cooking. <laughs> They're like fine, I guess. Where'd my oven mix go? You know, like, I'm not blown out of the park by them. Oh, I almost just biffed it with these. My battery's gonna die, but I don't know. I don't know if I need more sauce or to cook them longer, but. Let's just say, I'm like highly unimpressed. So, um, could be good if you know how to cook. Um, I'm still gonna eat them because why wouldn't I? But here we are. So I hope you enjoyed cooking, learning how to cook with me, as in I'm learning how to cook and you're just with me. Um, cauliflower wings, uh, if you're interested, I'll leave the recipe in, in the description below. And um, comment, like, subscribe or whatever. Yeah.